Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Welcome to Weather in Five, five days and five minutes. So let's get you going on what's happening uh, this morning. And it's all about the radars, really. It's fairly busy. I've got this wide view here uh, to show you what we're dealing with. And it's been pretty much a series of waves. And this is going to continue uh, for a while. We have this first wave that is coming through during uh, this morning. And then that pulls out sometime early, late this morning or early this afternoon. We have a, a second wave of showers and thunderstorms. That looks to head further south into northeastern Virginia and perhaps into the Delmarva Peninsula, southern Pennsylvania, and southern New Jersey. Those areas are out of the first area uh, that is going through now. Then we have another uh, series of short waves that will be moving eastward, and that's going to probably be uh, an issue as we go into Wednesday, and then there's yet one more to deal with for late on Thursday. So with all this rain that is in the forecast, uh, we have uh, issues with regards to the potential for some flooding. And with respect to uh, the uh, uh, flood watches that are up, the Weather Service has added a few more counties in northwest New Jersey, Warren, Morris, and Sussex counties, uh, the flood watch extends through all of Pennsylvania except the extreme north, all of Maryland, northeastern Virginia, over into Delaware. And again, it's watching these pulses of rain moving on through. The frontal boundary that we've been talking about is a little bit hard to find. Uh, if I had to you know, give it my best shot here, it looks to me, I would probably draw it somewhere along cent uh, through central New Jersey. Uh, on westward into Pennsylvania, kind of setting up uh, with where the rain is on the radar this, uh, during this morning. And you can see there are some bands of heavy rains uh, moving through northern Pennsylvania, but not much going on in south central or, or southeast Pennsylvania at the moment. Just a little few showers there down into Maryland. So it's all about the northern half of the uh, area this morning and probably more about the southern half as we go into this afternoon. Just pretty busy here. There's not a whole lot from the standpoint of severe weather here at, at the moment. It is really all about the rainfall. And on the satellite loop, uh, you can see pretty well what's happening. You've got, you've got that, uh, as we said, that boundary is just, just sort of sitting here and you get these waves that develop and move along it. And as each one goes by, you wind up with rounds of rain. It also means that after they pass, you do also have some dry periods and it's the last wave in the series the one that comes through for thursday which is going to finally put an end to all of this and bring some improvement so let's look at what the models are doing today here's that first area of rain by two this afternoon it, it, it again you have to be careful with how the models see these things because they are really not been have not been very good uh, the bottom line to me is just anticipate threats for rain uh, anywhere at any time during the next three days, but much of the time it won't be raining. But here, here's uh, the situation for this evening. You can see the second area goes more to the south rather than to the north. Then uh, a little bit more showery in nature as we move through the day on Wednesday with perhaps a line of storms late Wednesday afternoon and evening. Now with the third wave, and we talked about this yesterday, low pressure and fairly strong for this time of year is going to pass by very close to us or just to our north. And I think there will be a line of storms with this uh, a bit more widespread. And the Storm Prediction Center has uh, jumped on board on its uh, day three outlook, uh, adding uh, the beginnings of an area of risk. So this is for Thursday, a marginal risk of severe weather uh, for New Jersey, Pennsylvania. And there's an area of slight risk in a good chunk of eastern Pennsylvania, southwestward into northeastern Virginia. I wouldn't be shocked, depending on how this low tracks, uh, that we wind up seeing uh, that um, expanded a little bit. Temperatures in the meantime are going to be struggling, 70s, unless uh, you break out into some sun and you're in the warm sector, which is probably going to be more to the south, in which case you'll see temperatures climb up into the 80s. We saw readings in South Jersey yesterday hit the 90-degree mark, and that triggered off some thunderstorms in the evening. Now, once this slow goes by, the good news is it's going to strengthen as it moves eastward. There's a deep trough off the east coast. You're going to have a deep trough in the plains, and that looks like we're going to have some nice weather here for Saturday, albeit a bit on the breezy side, 
and sunshine for at least the start of Sunday. There might be some clouds coming in later in the day, but I'm hoping that this ridge that develops here in the eastern part of the United States holds on uh, for uh, much of the weekend. But uh, we're going to be at least for about 48 hours uh, in a fairly good spot. And by the way, the temperatures, if you're looking for heat and humidity, the uh, humidity part we have because of the rain. If you're looking for heat and 90 degree temperatures, it's just not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, have a great uh, rest of your day. Check out website posts throughout the day. We'll keep you posted on uh, any kind of flash flooding that occurs. That flash flood watch, as we said, is up. And uh, we will, of course, have our regular live stream on YouTube tonight at 6 o'clock Eastern Time or 7 o'clock Eastern Time. I'll set the schedule later today. The Joe and Joe Weather Show uh, tonight at 9.20 on Facebook. And, of course, you can get all of this if you download my free weather app on Google Play or on, at the, on the App Store by just searching Meteorologist Joe Chaffee or just plain old Joe Chaffee or just go to any of the links that I provide on and off throughout the day. Have a great day. Uh, thanks for being here on Weather in, uh, weather in 5 on this uh, Tuesday, June the 18th, 2019.